Uh, hello, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Absalan Sheikh Amin uh, from Somalia. I am a semester two student uh, of Simad University uh, in collaboration with Auburn University Malaysia. Um, today I will present my assignment about project risk management. Um, the course code is uh, EMRM 5.03. Uh, before I start my presentation, I really thank my facilitator, Dr. Uh, Mr. Muhammad Hassan Gele, uh, for his efforts toward this decision of project risk management. Uh, if I talk about or if I start my assignment uh, project background, I took uh, the Shield Company as one of the project uh, risk management assignment. Uh, the Habshil began to rebuild their firm with little money and a wide network of contacts. And 20 years later, it has grown to be one of the major international money transfer operations in the Horn of Africa. In addition to its main, main remittance service, it offers financial service through the Habshil Bank to private people, large and small business and international organizations. Also, it concentrates on telecommunication power and energy and real estate, all of which is crucial for reviving Somali's fractured economy. Um, risk and risk management. I will define here what is risk and what is risk management. If I start a risk, what is risk? Risk is, an, uh, risk is the chance of gaining or losing something value, valuable. Values may be gained or lost by the taking risk because of the specific action or mission predicted or unplanned. The possibility or potential for harm, injuries, illness, death, damage, and ETC to occur as a result of exposure to be hazard is another definition of risk. Now, risk management is Risk management is a basically an approach which we explore to identify, analyze, and mitigate the risks that can affect project loose or more after Terry and Higon 2006. It's an import, important part of project management, and if managed efficiently, will lead to success of your project. Risk management is an action plan that consists of various steps to ensure the removal or reduction of the risks. If you are dealing with uncontrollable risk, you may set such an action plan in order to minimize the effects of the risk. Let us talk about the types of risk management in, in, in this assignment. Market risk. Uh, health and safety risk, operational risk, and communicational risk. Market risk is likely to manifest itself when the project does not achieve the expected result. Community and international market fluctuations could also pose a danger to the project's early estimates. Health and safety risk. A company's health and safety risk standards should be continuously examined and monitored to spot any potential dangers that could cost it money or get it trouble. Operational risk, poorly implemented fetal operations and fundamental process such as production or procurement may cause a project is uh, stagnant or end. Communication risk, when you are in control of project, you must closely adhere to key work of ethics, call it effective and prompt communication. Uh, here is the factories designing response planning, well, project size, uh, economic condition, uh, also political condition. When it's talking about project size, variations in project size must be taken into account using a very effective set of project management techniques. The term size is used to quantify the overall extent of project in DIVA typically um, taking into account the project's duration, cost, complexity, personal needs, and other relevant factors. 
This enables initiatives to be described in terms of the comparison small, medium, and large. Economic condition. The current economic climate is difficult, and it is unclear where it is headed. Many things can be developed without incurring significant cost by eventually you hit a pain threshold where you must either stop or establish some very strict priorities. It can be quite difficult to engage the entire workforce in the transformation process and to inspire them to want in advance to it is challenging since everyone is at different stage and has a different level with a different uh, access to change. Getting everyone realized that change is continual state is difficult part. Only managing what currently exists in the quickest and easiest solution is the near term, but it is insufficient and on top of that is quite dull. Political condition. Every government must, difficult, must make a difficult choice on the best course of the action, including what restrictions to apply and when to relax them, where to spend money and how to raise and which domestic issue can be put on the hold to promote international cooperation. Recommendations for public health, economic factors, and political restraints must all be taken into account. Political economists are not surprised by this continuous, continuous policy reactions to a global threat. It frequently takes place, for instance, almost all economic economists concur uh, that tiny solutions or tiny nations would benefit from the elimination of all trade restrictions. Risky response planning. Historical database of this project, uh, post project re review, a uh, current database of this project. When we talk about uh, the Hafshil camp and remittance from Somalis residing abroad, have a continued to play a significant role in the region's economic development. And according to money transfer company Dabshil, the company claims that for many people in the Horn of Africa, which suffering from economic crisis, was the project review. To be fair, the project evaluations and document, documenting of lessons learned are, are recognized as crucial project closure activities. Lessons learned, if appropriately applied, can't only provide insightful guidance that might improve current initiatives, but also prove crucial to the successful planning future. Current database of this project. The Hapshil now understands the, 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 the dynamics and needs of the diaspora and will continue being forefront in mobilizing resources from them by providing an easier and smooth means to send their remittance. Conclusion. The Somali people are kept in solidarity from all around the world using the same principle as remittance. The Hafshil state stated that the company would continue to support young people who are gifted in sports and help them realize their ambitions of competing at the greatest level. Not only remittance over the past 20 years, but also the company has supported and empowered young people via sports. And we will keep using our own positions to provide them with possibilities. Therefore, this company got consumer satisfaction to avoid all types of risk. That's my assignment of project risk management. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.
Ah, uh, hello, hello. How's this? That's all good, Amir. Yeah. Ah, we will get We will get my. Start later. Hello, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Abdusalan Shagamin uh, from Somalia, one of the students of uh, Simad University in collaboration with uh, Obe University Malaysia. Uh, today I will present here my assignment about uh, project quality management. As you can see, uh, the introduction here is, uh, is my ID. Also, my name, also uh, the course name is Project Quality Management. Um, also, a Master of Project Management, MPM. I am a semester two student. Um, before I start my assignment presentation, I really thank my facilitator, uh, Mr. Abdelkader Noor Jibril, uh, for his effort to do this session. Um, I will talk about uh, our project assignment here. Is, uh, our agenda is uh, introduction, also project framework, uh, road is construction in Somalia. Also, uh, I will talk about more about project duration and project location, also uh, project quality improvement stage, and also uh, reasons for quality improvement and also quality improvement for construction project. And uh, I will conclude uh, a summary of my assignment. If I start my introduction to the assignment, uh, the Minister of Public Work uh, and Housing is one of the government organizations uh, responsible for undertaking infrastructure projects. Uh, the Minister is mandated to undertake the plan design and construction of the government buildings and infrastructure such as national roads, bridges, flood control, water resource projects and other public works and to promote standard in the construction housing industries. Project, this project framework a uh, project deal with issues such as framework for urban participatory planning development infrastructure. Uh, if we, if I take an uh, example, uh, housing roads, uh, water, energy, and waste disposable. Um, they are facilitating economic development like business incubators, uh, employment generations, and socio-cultural development community facilities and socio-cultural activities. The policy framework and strategic plan 2014 and 2016 will guide the minister operations, the ministry's operations in implementing this mandate while contributing to the achievement of the national aspirations spelled out in the New Deal Economic Recovery Plan PSG for sector. As you can see, uh, here is the map of Somalia. Uh, I will talk more about project duration and project location. The, the road will be constructed to asphalt standard with 7.0 meter carriageway and 1.5 meter shoulders on both sides. The project took five years from 2015 to 2020. So this project involves the upgrading of the gravel road between Mogadishu and the capital city of Somalia, Palathau to Kenyan border. If we talk about uh, the quality improvement stage, um, when talking about quality improvement stage, you have to uh, adapt, plan, uh, do, check, and act. Uh, if we talk about plan stage, 
in this stage, a goal or variables, it, it is under identified, a theory or interventions for change is developed. Success metrics are established and plan is put into action. When it comes to do, in this stage, the previous plan is implemented. When it comes to the check, in this stage, you have to keep an eye to the result to see if the plan is working by the looking for the problems and potential areas for improvement as well as evidence of the progress. Also, action. Act is in this stage, entitles keeping an eye on the result to assess whether the plan is working by looking for the indications of success and progress as well as issues and potential improvement areas. Reasons for quality improvement. The ministry provides gain insights and improves outcomes through quality measures benchmarking. Benchmarking allows us to identify best practice in care by analyzing variations in quality measures. We can identify research opportunities that advance professional knowledge which inform the creation of future best practices. Quality measures benchmark can be used to accurately track quality improvement progress, to provide policy guidance and regulatory framework, and set out agents based on priority demands of the sector across the nation. The ministry also perform project management function as well as all government and the government is sponsored development project nationwide. Quality improvement is important for the citizens who use surface. Quality improvement construction project. Establish standard control uh, workflow, uh, implement independent audit, embrace construction technology, and seek for or create skilled labor. The result of this project will be an all weather asphalt link between Somalia with Kenya providing reliable transportation to the area between Mogadishu and Baladhawa border with Kenya. To respond to meeting challenges and ensure quality service delivery to the public ministry achieve its mission, we believe this strategic plan is implementation successful. With the support of stakeholders and the employees' positions, uh, I will talk about uh, conclusion. That is the end of my presentation of project quality management. Thank you for your listening uh, my presentation. Thank you. Magdakat. كان كلا كل حاجة change management جي شن ده غلاسين كان كان كلا ده وندري غا أم ودم بسي آه Assalamu alaikum. My name is uh, Muhammad Abd Salam Sheikh Amin. Uh, I am one of the students uh, of Simad University Somalia uh, in collaboration with Oban University Malaysia. Uh, today I will present here my assignment of uh, change management 
uh, as you can see the screen is uh, that's uh, my ID also the course code is EMRM5103 uh, also uh, I am semester 2 student uh, I will present change management assignment uh, before I, I proceed my presentation I really really thank my facilitator Dr. Yunus Ali Muhammad for his effort is to uh, this uh, decision of change management. Uh, before I start about my uh, project, I will de define uh, what is change management and what is change. Change management is a systematic approach dealing with the transition or transformation of the organization's goals, process, or technologies. The purpose of change management is to implement strategies uh, for affecting change, controlling change, and helping people to adapt, to adapt to change. To be effective, change management strategy must take into consideration how an adjustment or replacement will impact process, system, and employees within the organization. Um, if I talk about the introduction of uh, the assignment, uh, I took HP company. Uh, how late can Penny, uh, commonly shortened to HP, is an American multinational information technology company headquartered in Palo Alto, California. The company was founded in one car garage, Palo Alto, by Peel Howlett and David Packard in 1939. HP developed and provided a wide variety of hardware components as well as software-related service to consumers' small and medium-sized business SMBS and large enterprise including customers in the government health education sector. Major product, product lines include personal computing device, enterprise and industry standard service, related storage device, networking product, software, and range of printers, and other emerging products. As you can see here is the an, uh, organogram of the HP company, uh, board of directors, uh, MD CEO, uh, executive assistant, also HR admin, uh, finance operation, system admin, and programming. Uh, changes made to this organization. Organizational change means to modification of the existing organizations to enhance it is effectiveness and efficiency. HP organizational change focus on people, technology, uh, process, structure. Uh, personal qualities required to handle change. There are six characteristics which commonly agreed to be essential for a change leaders to perform with confidence. Uh, visionary, uh, collation by and building is uh, communication skills, interpersonal skills, motivation, and uh, big picture. Um, if we come to uh, the conclusion of the project, uh, organizational change refers to the capacity of the organization is built to build new awareness, strategies, and capacities on the basis of their own and other experience. Organizational change helps HB corporations enhance concurrence among the organizational structure, process, strategy, people, and culture by developing new creative organizational solutions. There are many changes faced by HB organizations, such as people, change, structure, change, technology change, and political change, economical change, and social change. The learning organization is compelling argument for increasing efforts to move beyond short-term work aimed at only the top management. The learning organization is a tentative roadmap to a never-ending journey. Thank you for your attention. Uh, that is the end of my presentation about change management. Thank you.
है हाँ खना अलग कौन तरी हुआ है شايف مش كفر من كان لو احد صار كورا عادي هاي صار كورا صار اوكي موت خلص يا قدوم يا داي اوكي ما مشى ثاني <تصفيق> <تصفيق>